Oh. What? The game. It's a game changer. We're looking for my phone now. It's in this grass somewhere. Oh my gosh! So I made a mistake. So I went out earlier today, just by the house. I didn't even think of taking my camera. Me and my little brother went down there and I flipped this board and there are what looks to be more than one big Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. They're like absolutely huge. Yeah, they were, they were massive. So I jumped in the car, we jumped in the car, we booked it back down here and now we've got you, we're bringing you along. We finally got the cameras and stuff, so hopefully they'll still be there. <laughs> If not, then I messed up. Before we get out and check out these snakes, there's something we haven't discussed yet. Have you subscribed to the channel? Join us. We post weekly videos. Subscribe if you want to get our notifications for our brand new videos that come out every single week. Be sure to subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Really, really hoping that these snakes are still here. We're gonna come over here, and if you can see all these bushes lined here, all this is perfect form, and it's just barely overcast. All right guys, this is what I wanted to show you right here. Is a beautiful Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Look at that, two absolutely beautiful Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. Finally guys, the snakes are out. Look at this. I am so stoked about this. So here we got two beautiful Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. And these two aren't the happiest with me at this moment, but you can definitely see the size of these snakes. These are absolutely massive. Definitely deserve some respect. Do not do this at home. I do have experience and have been doing this for many, many years. So I would advise that you just keep your safe distance if you ever come across one of these animals. These snakes are highly venomous snakes. They have this rattle for a reason before they have to bite. These are the first rattlesnakes of the year for me. First rattlesnakes of 2018. I came out here unprepared. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I had to run back and get my camera. As you can see, as long as I'm not moving, as long as I'm not messing with the snakes, do you see these things coming after me? These snakes are not out to get me. <laughs> not out to get me. <laughs> my brother's behind the camera. I try to stay still. I don't want to get these guys. As long as I make slow movements, nothing sudden, and this snake. And you can see why these snakes are named Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. They're in the West, they got diamonds down their back, and they've got that fancy rattle to warn off predators, and these are gorgeous. See, I know you guys would love to see the action of it striking at me, me picking it up, me doing all that stuff, but I am not interested in harassing these snakes. I love to just admire them. I want to give these snakes as much respect as possible. I'm gonna bring my uh, brother over here and give him a little bit of a close look. So we're gonna let him walk around slow, take it wide. This guy's already on to him. Two Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. High five, dude. High five. Finally. Finally. It's been months. I juggle these guys. I grabbed the stick because I was just like, I need something to protect myself. Whoa. Look at that. I think they're ready to go home. I think they're ready to get out of here. These diamondback rattlesnake number one. Down back number two. There she goes. Sweet guys, there they go. Right back where they were. Sweet guys. Alright, so right here we found one of my favorite snakes down here in this area. It, and this is big for its kind. This is a big checkered garter snake. These things are super cool and smell super bad. They smell 
ridiculous. But look at that red tongue. He's wicked looking. These things will prey on like tadpoles, frogs, fish, and all sorts of things. And we're near a crop area, which is the reason for these things being in this area. It's because there's water and fish and frogs and stuff that they prey on. But on their defense is they will flatten their head and make it look like it is a venomous snake, like the shape of a triangle, you know, the classic. So we're back out and we found a new trash pile that we're looking under. We got multiple different trash piles, but it seems good today. Oh! What? Come here, come here, come here, look, look, look. That's oh, exactly dude. what I'm talking about. Oh, and there's a scorpion. Whoa! Whoa, dude, See that, that thing's aggressive. See that, guys? That is what you gotta watch out for. He looks nice and mellow, and then he's all he. Oh, there's a black widow. Where? Right there, all sorts of venom and danger. Oh, here. dude, look at that. Okay, we're gonna pull this guy out. Back up, Sam. These things are bad news when they bite you. Super cool, look at him, he's super tiny. Look at that, is that cool? Nice little Western Iron rattlesnake. Oh, don't bite yourself, bro. This stuff sucks to walk through. Ugh. Ugh. The stuff I'm walking through sucks to get through, but it's worth it in the end if there's a snake there, right? So I was able to flip a very pretty banded gecko here. What you see in there? Oh, there he goes. Okay, so this stuff is looking promising. I don't know if I was just lucky that one time or if they like this foam. If they like actually like it or not. I honestly did not think that that would provide something. Look guys, another baby western diamondback rattlesnake. Look at this. Look at that thing. Another western diamondback rattlesnake. There are so many diamondbacks out right now guys. No freaking way. I'm just gonna leave him there because we've already seen one but isn't that awesome guys? Another western diamondback rattlesnake. All right, so this is not a joke. I was sitting here, I reached in my pockets and realized my phone isn't in my pocket. So, <laughs> the game it's a game changer. We're looking for my phone now. It's in this grass somewhere. So, it fell out of my pocket. And now I am legitimately looking for my phone. This sucks. I have no idea where to start. I've been walking around here for a while looking for it. And it's kind of stressing me out a little bit. My phone's gone. Ah, oh, dang it. Are you serious right now? Am I stupid? I actually lost my phone. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I remember I was looking on Google. Oh. I had the thought that I just, oh. It's gotta be here somewhere. What am I thinking? I gotta tell you, out of all the herping experiences I've had over the years, I've never had this problem. I don't even know where to look. I mean, look at this place. Where do I look for a phone in this case? Oh my gosh, this grass is so freaking thick. It's probably getting rained on right now. That's good. Woo! I found it, guys. I found it. Oh, I was running back and forth and back and forth in that grass, lap by lap, until I found it. And it was soaking wet, but it's still good. Lost my phone. Found my phone. Woo, wow. Woo. I found it, guys. Ouch. That's probably like 30 minutes of looking. Totally wasted prime herping time, but I feel pretty accomplished. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Another checkered garter snake. This one's smaller. 
Kind of like what I was talking about before, how they don't get crazy big. Oh, he's getting aggressive. This one's a little bit prettier. He's a lot lighter in color, smaller in size. The other one was much, much, much bigger. But uh, checkered garter snake, super cool. We're gonna check this, put this beautiful checkered garter snake back where it was. Right under this little piece here. Just put it right back. Here you go. And she pooped on me right before she let, I let her go. Fantastic. So it's starting to rain a little bit, as you can see. Lots of water. It's starting to get a little bit too wet. Today was productive. We were able to get some pretty cool snakes. I hope you guys are as excited as I am that the snakes are back out. I'm gonna head out. It's getting a little bit chillier out here. The rain has hit and I am ready to go home. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. As much as I love the birds, I am more than happy that the snakes are back. What do you think, was that pretty cool? Yeah, it's tiring. Yeah, it was tiring, but super cool. We got to get super up close with some pretty wicked awesome snakes. All right guys, stay tuned for some more videos and we'll see you next week. See you later guys.